Alrighty, so I'm just going to share this. And in case anybody does end up coming early, I'm going to leave this over here so I can let people in as they come. So, hi, I am Carmen, uh, if you didn't already know, and I am so excited that you are watching this recording. I decided to make it a recording because I didn't have that high of an attendance, so I figured a lot of people would be watching the recording anyways, and I wanted to make it easier on everybody, and everyone knows that I would coach you all for free. Just contact me and we'll set up a time. So let's get going with my summer group info call. This is all the info that you need to know about my summer ADHD boot camp starting in June, on June 1st, actually. So a little about me. Um, I'm a certified life coach. I'm an early childhood educator um, for special needs, ESL, and I am an ADHD advocate and an ADHD podcaster. Um, I was listening to a book one day, and this idea for a summer ADHD boot camp just, like, came to my head, and it's like a little seed, and it's been blossoming ever since. So, oh, there we go. So, why did I decide to do this group? Well, because ADHD is so much more than just, like, an attention deficit disorder. It's actually not a deficit in anything, really. Um, it's a spectrum, and a lot of the people that are diagnosed and undiagnosed, and even some professionals, are not super educated about ADHD. Uh, the second I got a diagnosed, I um, started diving into information because for me knowledge is power i always feel better when i am when i know more about what's going on especially when it's in my own body i also went through the misfortune of misdiagnosis pause for dramatic effect because this diagnosis happened so often. I was even put on medications that sent me to the hospital. It was it was not it was not great. So I want to educate people, I want to help people, and I want to give them the I want to give you the chance to work with your brain and make ADHD work for you and not more work for you. I say that a lot in my podcasts. Um, I'm a big fan of making things easier um, and helping you, helping people accommodate their own lives to help you achieve the goals that you want. Now, keep in mind, I am not a doctor. I'm not a therapist and I'm not a psychiatrist. My role as your coach is to teach you and coach you about your thoughts, your emotions, and situations in your life. My job is to help you reach your goals. My job is to help you create systems, be your cheerleader, and help you be accountable to what you want to achieve in your life. So I have a question. Actually, I have a few questions. Do you get distracted easily by stimuli or random thoughts? Do you make decisions impulsively? Are you able to stop and think before saying or doing things when you know you should? Do you start a project or task without reading the instructions fully. Directions want directions. I mean, do you have a hard time doing things in the correct order or sequence? Do 
do you tend to drive faster than others? And whether you do or don't drive, do you have difficulty doing calm, quiet activities that involve sitting in one place or doing one quiet thing for a longer amount of time? And do you have difficulty organizing your stuff physically and your thoughts and prioritizing steps for projects, et cetera, et cetera. Maybe you make a lot of different lists for things and then you lose them. So this is part of the DSM-5. Uh, no, it's not part of the DSM-5. I'm sorry, I misspoke. That, those questions are not a part of the DSM-5 yet. Those questions are written by Dr. Russell Barkley and some of his PhD associates, um, because did you know that the DSM-5 symptoms are written in light of children only? Another pause for dramatic effect. So the diagnostic criteria written is for children. So some of us don't meet the looks like they're driven by a motor because me twirling my hair, see this? This is my hyperactivity. And I don't know what to do with my hands. That's what this is. Nope. It's not when I'm nervous only. It's not just uh, when I am bored. It's not, like it doesn't have any reflection on me as a person. I play with my hair when I have nothing else to do with my hands. Plain and simple. Um, and also, so the information that I'll be using throughout the course is coming from my research. I've read like um, 10 books on ADHD. You'll be getting that list during one of the classes. Um, and it also comes from doctors that I've trusted from my ADHD coach, Kristen Carter, I'm in the program. I have ADHD. It's called Focused. Um, I couldn't recommend her podcast more. And my own experience, because I've been diagnosed now for six years, and it's been six years of growing. I'm definitely a different person than I was even three years ago. But the me six years ago, and the me now, and then the me that is coming, oh, I'm excited for her. But it, it's such a dramatic change I want to teach you, too. So the course is going to include four workbooks. ADHD 101 is what where we're going to start learning about ADHD. I'm not going to read you this presentation. I feel that that's condescending, like you can't read, so I'm keeping it on the screen for long enough while I just talk about what I'm going to be doing. You will get a one-on-one -on -one call with me to hone in on your goal or goals or things that you struggle with in, speci in specificity because ADHD is a spectrum. We all struggle with varying symptoms to varying degrees with outcomes of varying impairments. It's it's that simple. It all varies. While I am really, really bad at organization, but I'm really good at out-of-the-box thinking and metacognition, I have a friend who's super, super good at organizing, but isn't so great at like the metacognition and cognitive flexibility. It's just how it is. It's a spectrum. It's like autism in that it's a spectrum. You can be affected to varying degrees, which is why we're going to do an executive function assessment um, because it'll dig deeper into where we can modify your environment, where your uh, thoughts about yourself lie because accepting yourself and, and you know exploring your identity and your self-concept is super important. In, in radically accepting yourself with ADHD in all the things that you are, which I know is amazing and a just fabulous person, but we tend to not think so great about ourselves. 
So we have to fix that a little bit. Um, so we will also be going over things like relationships and emotional regulation. These are big things that us as ADHDers, we have problems with. We have a hard time regulating our emotions, which in turn affects our relationships. When we do the executive function, oh, oops, sorry, I'm making you dizzy. When we do the executive function assessment, you'll see where emotional regulation, relationships, where all the executive functions play in all of those different areas. And that way, you're then able to accommodate for your own environment specifically. So we'll be doing classes on relationships, on emotional regulation, on organization, on time management, on, you know, things like that. What I want to tell you is that I'm not going to be giving you the tips and the tricks, okay? The course is designed to help you understand your ADHD. I will be coaching your mindset around concepts. We'll have executive functions assessment, which we will use as a base to explore your self-concepts and identity, modify your tasks and environment, learn how to make ADHD work for you instead of more work for you, learn new concepts and strategies around what we struggle with most, and I am not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to guide you. I am not going to give you how to's or tips, the tricks. That's all Googleable. Even though the class is going to be called something like how to organize or how to manage your time, it's not going to be filled with tips and tricks. It's it's going to be around the mindset. Because why would you pay me for Googleable information? I'm here to help you change your mindset about ADHD and the impairments it can cause and the detriment that that can cause on your self-concept, how you view yourself, and so on. And I'm here to help guide you as you learn more about yourself. So we will have two to three calls per week, a private community, four workbooks, and a guide, and access to me for nine weeks starting June 1st. You will each get a one-on-one -on -one call to hone in on your personal goal, and then I'll teach you strategies on the calls that are set up like this on Zoom. You will be on the call, I'll be in the call. Questions can be put in the chat, and I will live coach you through in coaching calls. And we will also have supportive resources in the private community where you can feel free and safe to post about the topics that we have, about the calls, struggles that you're having, questions that you have, and I can coach you there as well. Too many times we as neurodiverse people with brains that work differently, we tend to try to take the neurotypical strategies and try to apply them, and it inevitably always fails. Why do you think that is? because your brain is not neurotypical. It's neurodiverse, and I'm here to teach you how to work with your neurodiverse brain. You're my VIP people. This course is valued at $660. I just wanna put that out there. One payment up front, $300. Today through tomorrow at midnight, it will be I can just, you know, be annotate. So, starting right now. It's terrible, too. Oh, my goodness. This is, no. Can I just, yep, undo. We're going to do test. Starting today, right now, until tomorrow, April 4th at midnight, the price up front is two seventy five. Is that what? Yeah, it's great. Then after tomorrow at the fourth at midnight, there'll be three hundred up front. Two payments of one seventy five. 
or three payments of 190. Keep in mind, even if you're paying the three payment a month, you're still paying less than $660. I know it's close, but it's valued at $660 because you're getting all these resources to keep. The calls will all be like this recorded and you can go back and listen to them. And they'll also be put on a podcast feed that you can listen to. The most important thing that I want you to know is that I care about you. I know what it's like and I love what I do. I want to do this to help every person who tries all these neurotypical things and it never works. We lack dopamine. Our brains lack the thing that gives us motivation, regulation, and the reward system. We don't feel reward when we do like the laundry. We don't. It just doesn't happen. So I am going to put the links below for the payments and to ask, you can ask any questions in the comment section below. Thank you for listening. And if you are listening to the podcast of this, you can visit my website, authenticallyadhd.org to see pricing and sign up. You'll also be able to view this video there. Um, tonight, but at the latest. All right. All right. Post your questions below. And thank you so, so much for coming. Have a great one. Stay authentic, my friends.